Greetings everyone and welcome back to Autonauts, we're in the last episode, we managed to get a fair little bit of uh, work done. We have finally completed our new forestry uh, makeover, we've in fact increased the forestry team by a little bit, there are now two diggers and two lumberjacks in there, so we should be producing uh, logs a little bit faster. We've also automated the production of all the tools, including the mallet and now the uh, the blade as well. We have also completed some research. We've expanded our group over here for uh, I Am Mother in that they will now maintain the shelters as well, which is uh, pretty good news, honestly, because uh, I was not prepared for that at all. But there's a lot of things that we need to do. In the end of the last episode, I did mentioned that there were just a few little bits and bobs the remaining that I wanted to get done. I'm noticing that you're not quite covering this area, are you? Hmm. Well, that'll actually be one of the first things that we work on. But I do want to get the automation of all of the bot parts complete and also I want to set up a better, possibly more permanent location for our settlers. But before we get to any of that, let's go ahead and start up some research, shall we? Because that takes an awfully long time to do. Oh, uh, okay then, we're gonna have to upgrade. What do we need for the upgrade? We need a log, three poles, and four stones. Well, the four stones is gonna be super easy. In fact, let's uh, upgrade both of them then. Womp, there we go, so we need to go and grab all of the stones. We'll do this manually. Ah, uh, my lord, it's been a long time. I don't have all of these robots, so I have to do any work myself. My goodness. Uh, but I suppose it's okay just this once. Or just this twice, rather. Now, I do like that the uh, the actual model seems to upgrade. That's actually pretty cool. Now, how's everything going over there? Things are going well, if you ask me. Let's calm down, drop these off, and then we're going to need one log each as well once I'm done here. Uh, two more poles, then one log each. That should be fine. There we go. Two more poles. And we should be on the way. Now, I'm not decided yet on what type of new research we're going to be doing. But we are starting to accrue some more logs, which is very, very good to see. We've got exactly one, <laughs> one log. Okay, well, maybe it's not that good then. But still, it's better than, than nothing. There we go. Let's go and grab uh, another log there, and then we can get you on the go as well. We can have a decide of what, uh, what new technology to research. Now, I would, as much as it isn't particularly functional, I would very much like something with fencing or flooring, personally. Let's have a have a quick gander. Science is coming along really, really well. We're going to be completed with that very soon. Oh, farming arable. Uh, okay. Uh, soil hoed, cereal seed sown, crop grown, cereal crop scythe, cereal threshed, grain stored. Well, well, well. That seems like it's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a big a job for us, really. Right. We've got power technology, which, from all I can I can tell, is just going to give us a torch. But you know, that's not uh, too terribly bad. Now we could have the Mark II bot. That would be nice. We'd be able to upgrade the uh, bot workbench by the looks of it and get bot storage. Now that is going to be a big thing because once we've got bot storage, we can, from that point onwards, automate the production of bots and use that as our control method. However, we've got flooring over there. They are expensive. We've got walls over there. I think I would like the flooring. I'm hopeful that flooring will give us speed. So we need a stick over here and we need some sand over there. Okay, well, we're gonna have to get some sand then. That's gonna be a bit of an interesting one. Alternatively, we could go for construction uh, and the walls would be nice. And then we're gonna go for power and construction just for the, the ease of setting that up. So let's get uh, some sticks down. There you go. You can uh, crack on and learn. Oh, yeah, there we are. It's got a bit of a different uh, icon there, but that's fine. Uh, let's go grab a log then, I guess, from over here. Why are you stood there with logs? Hmm, that looks suspicious to me. It looks like someone's brain is broken. Uh, it's okay, my brain breaks all the time. Uh, there we go, we should be able to get this on the go in just a moment. We want construction technology. There we are. Fantastic. But let's have a quick look. What's going on down here? Find nearest sign, move to log storage, take on log storage, add to the group. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, you are currently waiting to construct. How about I draw you down here? 
all of my constructor bots. Let's get you over here, please. And out of the way. And then I'll uh, activate you when necessary. Head on down here. Can I tell you to do that? No. Okay. Head on down here. There we are. That's a little bit better. Grant, what are you up to? Grant, find the nearest crude hut. Okay, that's that's also fine. What I might want to do is have you move to your signs when you've collected everything. That is something that we'll work on uh, later. But now I know exactly what's up. I, I don't mind if you want to go and uh, hang out at those locations. That's, that's fine for now. But I think <clears throat> introducing a clause that will cause the bots to go and idle in a, in a separate space would be really good. I certainly find that necessary, not even nice, but necessary in my Screeps um, AI programming game. I need to have an idle location for my bots to go. But then in Screeps, bots actually take up space. You can't move into the same tile that there is another bot there. So, you know, it, it serves a double f uh, purpose in that it actually clears up the highway so that my bots can actually move around and my uh, economy doesn't grind to, to a uh, sudden halt. Uh, but here, that we're, we're at least freed from that. Okay, so what do we want to work on first? Well, we've got all of that taking place. Um... I do kind of need a new workbench, I think. But let me just have a, a look over here. What what can we make? Uh, well, we don't need any more of these. These two are being made. Realistically, I don't need this or this. That's just for me. The only things that uh, are new here, then, are the flail, the crude hoe, the scythe, and the fishing stick. Now, these are all interesting things to have. Now, the crude flail is literally just a s two sticks. I wonder if it's uh, twice as durable as a stick, because from the look of it, you can use it to beat bushes. Uh, the crude scythe is a, a stick and a blade, same as the hoe, and the fishing stick is literally just a pole. Okay, so we've got uh, four new structures that we're going to want to set up and have being stored, and uh, sure, I'm all for this. So let's get a bunch of workbenches plonked down one two three and four and then we'll grab some storages as well there we go and then we can have all of this area set up for all of the tools that we can presently make there we go it's going to take our, our builders a little while to get all of that sorted out but while that is going on i believe that this is the middle one two three four one two three and four so yes this is exactly the middle tile you know what I'm going to do there? I'm going to grab a bit of turf and I'm going to plonk this down right in that middle tile there. I would like this area very specifically reserved. I know that if a bot stops on that tile, it will be in the very center of this zone. So with that in mind, I could adjust our charges to have that as their, their destination. Now, it would be better if I had something else to put there. And honestly, there's a part of me that would, wouldn't mind uh, replacing all of these with with grass and then maybe having paths leading out and then maybe cobble at some later stage in fact i really really do like that idea um we are going to be prettifying each working location even though the bots i don't think they need it i'm, I'm about to say they don't need it without really knowing if that is true or not but uh, certainly i wouldn't mind getting all of that sorted out so now the problem here is that uh, unfortunately if I drop this spade there, I need to grab the turf, and I need to have this turf to hand very, uh, very easily when I when I get rid of these stumps, because otherwise it's just going to be filled in. Thankfully, there are plenty of places where, where my seed planting bot can go and plant seeds, so that should be okay. So as soon as this is dug up, I'm immediately going to uh, fill it in, place some turf. We're going to have this little uh, little area here. No, no, go away, go away. No, don't you dare. Uh, I think I think we just about made it. Very close, though. My goodness. But once we've planted down this little bit of grass, they will no longer try to dig this location, which is uh, the important thing. No, keep moving. That's right. Eyes front, please. My lord. Oh, come on. There we go. Don't you even dare. No, I think... Oh, no, you were gathering seeds. Never mind. Never mind. That's perfectly fine. Let's pop that there. Pop down a little bit of turf. Yoink. There we go. That's fine for now. I think uh, we'll leave that as is. And this will be a little project that I'll work on over time. In fact, I'll go ahead and I'll pop this turf back as well. Though it looks like you're about to be done there. But uh, still, 
I, I would prefer not to get too distracted on the minutia just yet. But that will eventually be the way that we work it. We'll have paths through areas and the center tile of any particular zone will be the tile that I tell my bots to walk to. Uh, and that should allow me to guarantee that each location is fully visited. Uh, and I think that would be a good way to move forward. Now I'm noticing the things aren't being built over here. Is that because the builders are currently turned off? You shouldn't be. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I probably haven't uh, designated your area, have I? My bad. Let's go and uh, pick up this sign. I wish it was a little bit of an easier way to manipulate these. Uh, manipulating the signs remotely, that is. Uh, I would like to move this area all the way up there. There we go. Crack on. I thought that we had the uh, building area over there previously, but uh, clearly that was not the case. There we go. They'll get on with that. And whilst they're working <clears throat> on that, I will go ahead and move these houses. We need a new zone for our colonists. And I do apologize for, for how crooky my throat is. I'm, I'm still recovering from the cotton flu. For the most part, it's completely gone, but uh, it seems that uh, this morning I had a bit of a, uh, bit of a, a croaky flow. It's not, e not even painful or anything like that, but <laughs> it's a little bit uh, difficult to, to talk clearly. And that is a rather unfortunate situation to be in as a YouTuber. There we go. Let's see if that uh, helps clear out a little bit. Now, with the, the children, I'm thinking putting them closer to where we've got the food right now would just speed everything up. And in fact, moving the research benches as well. So let's have a let's have a little think about this, shall we? Let's grab you. Now, I would like to move them one at a time. Um, let's start something. Sure, we'll have something over there oh and it brings brings the uh the human as well oh that's fantastic marvelous in fact no problem no one there grab you i want to give a nice bit of room for you later on i would like to actually decorate this and make it make it more look like a little uh little village or something with paths and trees and perhaps some pets. I do know that you can pass your animals and I would like to do something like that and actually have it be a beautiful little area. It'll make me feel less horrible about myself. Uh, right, there we go. It'll be fine. You'll you'll enjoy your, your new, the new place that you're gonna be living. I promise you. Let's get this cleared up and then we'll have another two up there as well. And that'll be our 10 colonists that we require. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this and drop that off. Now I'm going to... Uh, well, actually, no, you've gone through all of your wealth already. Wow, okay. Pretty impressed with that, actually. Uh, I want one more turf, just to fill that little spot in. Then we'll add three more uh, houses. And that will be all that we need for the colonization level two. Well, outside of the cooking. We'll have all the colonists we need, at the very least. There we are. So we also want to build a couple more shelters then. Where are we? Nope, wrong one. There we go. Oh, bad spot there. That's fine. Let's just get rid of that. There we are. Perfect. Right. Oh, the constructor bots are almost finished. Wow. Well done. Truly well done. I'm going to need to move your uh, sign around a little bit. Eventually, it's going to be super easy for me to do this. I'm just going to live in some sort of command center. I'll make myself a little house, even though I'm not going to be getting a robot to feed me there. But still, it's going to be grand. I'm going to have my little my little control center, and I, from there, I'll be able to get everything done. I'll just de de uh, dispatch robots wherever work needs to be done. It's going to be absolutely amazing. All right. If you could head on out there, that would be grand. Uh, moving the research benches up here would make sense if this is where the WUV is going to be. So let's do that as well. And little by little, we're actually moving away from, from the south down here, which uh, wasn't exactly my goal, but uh, sure, I'm not going to uh, you know, say no to it. It isn't a problem. Um, I'm thinking that perhaps having these... Uh, in a different orientation would be a little bit better just because I don't know how much bigger they get as they upgrade. There we go. We can have the love storage right there. There we are. That seems to work perfectly for me. There we go. Right. Now you've got a much, much shorter route to take. I think ultimately uh, the advice that I've been getting is pretty solid advice. We need to start uh, producing, uh, using mushrooms to, to feed the colonists as well. Uh, let's go ahead. 
and grab three more more colonists please and thank you now ultimately if i generated this myself and popped it in there that would probably be uh, a good way of doing it there's a part of me that wouldn't mind having <laughs> Just telling them, yeah, continue to produce colonists until uh, until this is full. But then the, the colonists there would never get fed. And that is not something I'm willing to accept. I refuse. 100% refuse. Uh, hopefully the robots will, will build uh, these reasonably fast. But uh, the logs are the, the sticking point right now. Actually, it looks like it's the hauler for the logs that's the problem. Maybe we do need another bot to help with that then. Hmm. Wasn't anticipating that one anytime soon but i guess uh you know what yeah i'll, I'll wait for you the, oh you, you need to charge but uh little by little the logs are being hauled over there we need two logs there one log here and then oh so many logs all oh, the children there yikes that is gonna be a little bit of a potch uh you know what I, I don't want to babysit this function for now. I'm just going to grab this and uh, do a little bit of help for our constructors. But we need a new sign so that I can set up a proper area for the I Am Mother group. Uh, that way, because right now they're, they're still looking over here. Even though I've moved all the houses up there, they're still looking in the wrong place. And that is going to continue to be a problem for now. Uh, so we need uh, an actual sign, and that way I can I can adjust the village to whatever kind of dimensions that I particularly want, and it'll look lovely. Right, uh, let me go ahead and drop off. The, oh, can't drop off the shovel, unfortunately. Uh, all right then. Well, I guess this is now my shovel, and we're just gonna have to live with that. Uh, let's pop it but there for a second, so I can grab. Oh, Oto fruity berries collected, two thousand. Well done. Uh, oops, I took one extra pole as a result of that. I was so excited. Uh, we need more planks so badly. Uh, unfortunately, getting more planks, a little bit difficult because everyone is waiting on poles. Yeah, we definitely need an extra hauler bot for the, uh, the the logs. That is now the problem. And because the uh, the log storage is not getting filled fast, we're just rampant deforestation going on right now. My lord. There we go. Let's get the uh, the children fed properly. That that is honestly my my highest priority right now. Uh, okay, so uh, I can have drink me, feed me, but uh, no, that that's, that that gets a little bit too uh, too trippy for me. Uh, let's go with yeah the village. There we go. Because we aspire for it to be something uh, bigger later on. Right, we need to set the area. We don't need to be a max area at all. That is uh, grossly uh, over large. There we go. Donk. There we are. And we will pop this right over there. Perfect. Right, I am mother group. I need to pretty much adjust all of your brains. Uh, you can stop. Uh, you... Well, actually, no, no. You're fine. You're just uh, dealing with the the uh, sea dispenser. Now, thing is, I wonder if I could set this up to look for an empty house. That would be really, really interesting. I'm going to let you keep going for now. But I wonder if I can set up a, a command that looks for an empty house and until it finds one, it stays in that loop. Once it finds one, it proceeds to the rest of the loop and then uh, then spawns a colonist. That would be really interesting. If we could fully automate it so that if I just build a house, it will do everything it needs. All of the steps, upgrading the colonist all the way through. That would be fantastic. Absolutely marvellous. Right, I would like you to look for the village. And there we go, and that's the only thing I need you to do. And enjoy. There we are. Uh, Ellie, you're already uh, fine with that. Uh, sorry, Eelstar, Ellie, Grant. Yeah, I need you to update where you're looking. I need you to look for buildings within the village. And finally, Salazar. Okay, hopefully you are helping with raising the next generation of apocalypse survivors. 
There we go. That should be fine. The first step is, of course, making sure they're nice and fed. Uh, however, our researchers are going to now need to look in a different location. That's a good point. Uh, research. Let's have a look at you. There's quite a few of you, actually. All right. Datawa, I need you to look for Colonist Wuv in the village, please. Thank you. Donk. There we are. And you can continue. And I'm fairly certain that everyone else should be okay, but let's have a look. Uh, yeah, you're fine. Scary Duck is fine. Ah, uh, no. Sophie, I also need you to look in the village as well. So let's get you set up there. There we are. And go. There we are. Everything should start moving forward once again. It's going to be happy, happy times indeed. All right, so... And with that done, we've now got this this whole area down here where we're not actually doing anything, which is a bit of an interesting one. Uh, I would like another bot bench, basic bot workshop. Well, maybe not. I think a bot assembly bench, though, where I can make level two bots wouldn't be a bad move. Though at this stage, I think not making any more of the Mark 1s would make sense. Making Mark 1s seems surplus to demand at this stage simply because um, we're intentionally making a, a an inferior bot to what we can make. It doesn't make sense for me to just go around rampantly destroying or decommissioning bots that are completely fit for their purpose, as is, but that's very different from intentionally making bots that are you know, less capable than the, the best bots that I can make. So I think for now, we will keep this, but it will always be set to bots from, from this point forward, which means that our bot builders, our Newman group, no longer need to be stood here. Hmm, okay, that gives me uh, gives me some workforce that I can uh, repurpose. Let's grab the Newman group. And we're going to be expanding you a little bit. Right, I would like you to stop and then head on over to me. Please and thank you. All right. Obsidia, King of Kings. Neither of you uh, are carrying anything, which is great. So that means you are completely free to be upgraded. That being said, we do have a bunch of bots that we need, uh, a bunch of work that we're going to need to do over here. And not all of it can be easily automated, especially because some of it is logs. Um, at this point, it may actually be worth our while getting some of these bots upgraded a little bit you know what you know what hmm. now you can upgrade uh, and I've, I've had so many people uh, advise me oh you can upgrade your bots you don't need to uh, completely decommission one. yes but then you end up with the bot parts that you can't do anything with and that's where i'm trying to avoid until uh, a later structure which we'll get in the game which will allow me to deal with things i don't necessarily want anymore but uh right now i think uh, i think we'll we'll keep you guys aside and you can join another group in fact Actually, speaking of Obsidia, you're moving into the forestry group. Uh, we need to find our Apple Fumble. There we go. Apple Fumble, if you could uh, just hang tight there for a moment. In fact, you know what? This is this is probably worth us doing. Uh, King of Kings, you're also going to move up. I know, I know. You were enjoying your job so much. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But uh, times have changed. <laughs> right, we need to grab your brain, Apple Fumble. We're just gonna move it wholesale to the others. Uh, Apple Fumble, have you stopped? You should have stopped. Uh, can I, there we go. No, oh, I'm holding an Alt instead of Control, my bad. There we go. And we will set this up correctly down here. I don't know which one of you I just upgraded. I know Obsidian now has the correct brain, so Obsidian, go. And then immediately, King of Kings. There we go. King of Kings, you are going to be a very important bot in our empire. We need these logs. Literally, our entire economy is slowing down because we're not collecting them fast enough. So this is a very, very important role that I've given you. Uh, there's a lot of trust. I'm giving it to you. Not, It's not a demotion. I trust you. I trust you with this job. It is such an important job that I can only give it to a bot that I trust implicitly. You, Apple Fumble and Obsidia, you you are the, the foundations upon which the rest of the automated empire stands. Well done, you. Once again, I really should be a mountain. Uh, right, let's have a look over here. It's going to take us ages to get all of this done, which is kind of a pain, but uh, that's fine. Whilst we're waiting, we can instead set up some new tasks. Now, this one is a fairly simple one, the crude f uh, flail, simply because it's only made with sticks. It should be, I'm hoping, 
a straight upgrade to what we're currently already using. So let's go ahead and make one of these. Let's go and grab that. That way we can prime this as a flail storage. Now I'm going to need a new bot. Uh, we, hmm. I mean, yeah, we, we're going to need four. <laughs> oh my lord. I really do need to automate this. So, you know what? It's time. That That's one of the focuses of this episode was going to be setting this up. So, you know what we're going to do? We are going to set it up. So I'm going to go and grab the, where the first bot we make is going to automate the bot heads. Then the next bot we make is going to make automate the bot bodies. Then the next bot we make after that will automate the bot drive components. And then with all of that together, we'll be able to just make a new bot nice and simple at any time that we particularly need to make one. And it's going to be grand. But right now we are really lacking planks. And that is a terrible, terrible situation to be in. My goodness, there we go. Let's uh, bring that all the way down here. Now, we do technically have too many uh, haulers for the uh, the logs because we've only got two bots that chop logs. So that's the only reason we were falling behind. We had one person collecting them and two people chopping them. And the two people chopping them had a much faster job of doing it because they tend to just move from tree to tree to tree to tree. So there is possibly still room for us having three haulers instead of two. And it won't be uh, uh, excessive because the wood choppers have such an easy time of moving from one task to the other whereas the haulers have to move out to wherever the log is and then move back from wherever the log is and they're only moving one log at a time throughout that entire process so uh, we may find that it, it, it's still useful to have it uh, set up that way but we will see we we, we may end up having to uh, accept that uh, we've got uh, surplus to demand over there but if that is the case then maybe uh, two haulers with speed upgrades would be enough to fix the problem there we go let's uh, drop this off and here we go the first of the bots who will from henceforth be managing the production of more bots oh, it's gonna be great. right who have we got over here then we have got Amul with many O's. That was the only only thing specified in the comment. Just lots of O's. Doesn't matter how many, really. Just more than more than a few. There you go. Many O's there. Uh, Amula, no, <laughs> just Amul. Uh, right. Okay. So Amul, what we need for you? We need a plank and a tree seed. First, I want you to do this forever. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's it's not it's not uh, von Neumann levels yet. Don't don't panic. We just want to do it until this is full. Uh, right, so a plank and a tree seed. Now, I would like to give you a backpack because you can make this so much faster than... Oh, no. That's annoying. I uh, exited out before I should have. Let me just uh, set that back up. If you stop, it's fine. But if you uh, hit the X, then you cancel all of the uh, all of the work there. That's fine, right there. Just stop that there. I need to make your backpack nice and quickly. Three planks, one pole. So let's grab the pole first. So I can stick that in my backpack and then grab three planks for following. One. There we go. And one, two, and three. And this will be nice and easy. Again, it doesn't strictly reduce the amount of commands. In fact, in, in some cases, for especially simple jobs, it will actually increase the amount of commands that you're you're using um, for the bots to use their backpack. Um, but it does dramatically reduce the amount of moving around, uh, assuming that the things they're collecting are all in the same lo location, which uh, this is very much not the case, but it would still reduce the uh, back and forth thing quite a bit. So, uh, Amul, what I would like from you is, first and foremost, go and grab a tree seed. All the way up here. There we go. Move to seed storage. Take from seed storage. Pop that into your backpack. Then move and grab a plank over here. Nice and easy. Yoink. And then move all the way down. Pop one plank in. Now, I could be moving all of these at once, I know. Uh, retrieve. Drop that in. And then you wait. Womp, womp, womp. And there you go. Now, I could tell you to go and drop that off as well. I mean, we've got enough uh, enough memory to do that. Oh, that would be that would be so dangerous. <laughs> I'm so tempted to, though. I could give you a brain upgrade so that you'd have enough, enough memory to just go ahead and, and drop this off over there and just infinitely produce robots. But no, I am going to be the control mechanism for now. 
I am going to stand guard over this. This is going to be your life now, Amul. Enjoy. Let's have a quick watch. Yeah, everything. Everything is good. Okay. <laughs> it's so tempting, though. Oh, my lord. Right, I'm going to grab this head. Uh, thank you very much. Now, you'll uh, scurry off and do the next one. So now I just need a pole and a plank. And I'm going to go ahead and prepare the next two bots. And I will bring you back for their activation. Ooh. Me, uh, Nina here. Thank you very much for the comment, by the way. Only has... Well, has exactly enough without an expanded brain to do all the work that I wanted. So uh, there is absolutely no way that Nina could then move that on to another bot. Sorry. So Nina, really, you're saving us from the Von Neumann nightmare. Uh, well done, Nina. Uh, right. So, Nina, you can just crack on with your job there. And we have over here Goose. Thank you ever so much, Goose, for being a patron supporter. You are in charge of the bot bods. So uh, there we go. Marvellous. We're going to want a couple more. All of them are currently using backpacks. And uh, from now on, it's going to be a lot easier. Now, Goose actually had uh, a bit of an interesting one because Goose first grabs a pole and stows it and then has to grab two planks. So uh, this time with Goose's brain, uh, in fact, let me uh, just bring that up down here. You can see that I use it two times, take from storage because I only want two planks, but then again, I use until hands empty to uh, drop that all off. Now you three are going to be moving into the Newman group. Well done you. There we go, and there we are, perfect. Right, we've got a new bot besides. Now, uh, you may well work work on uh, producing the backpacks. In fact, I think we're probably gonna have this entire area set up as uh, the Newman group, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, there's no reason not to. So, sure, we're gonna make a uh, automatic backpack creator right now, because right now that is, uh, that is a fairly uh, important one. We're gonna be in a bit of a queue waiting for planks. Oh, that's a bit of a pain, but oh well. Uh, we are now stowing a decent amount of trees, which is uh, quite nice to see. Go ahead, Goose. You can, you can have the first one. There you are. And, ah, damn it. You nicked it. Ah, oh, I was waiting so patiently, too. How annoying. Uh, all right. Well, I'm going to go and grab this, this log. Now, make my own bloody planks, then. My lord. All right. Let's go ahead and get this going. And we'll have, then, uh, a bot also making the backpacks, because, uh, frankly, I am needing a lot of black backpacks, typically. And there we go. Now, the thing is, if I can drop this in there fast enough, you may end up doing all of the work of carrying all of these planks away. Come on, come on, next one. Come on. No, no, quickly. There we go. Are you going to grab the rest? <laughs> yes, you are. Ah, I love being lazy. Perfect. Right, I'm going to grab all of these. Yoink and yoink. There we go. And we'll move these down to the backpack as well. And then we'll teach you how to do the backpack. Working with backpacks can be a little bit complicated because... There's that extra level of debugging you might need to do because you don't necessarily know what they're going to be holding. Or, and if they've got multiple backpack slots, they may well end up pulling from the wrong backpack slot. Welcome to the team. So that too, you shall be in charge of a bot backpack uh, production. Oh, actually, let me have a quick look at your brain. Can you actually hold two things in your backpack? Because if you can, that's going to be so good. Truly, truly marvelous. In fact, because technically you'd be able to hold two different things in your backpack, as I do. So you'd potentially be able to carry three different items as long as you, you didn't need more than one each. In fact, that might even be something that we could teach Nina. We'll have a, we'll have a quick look at this. Um, well, perhaps not here or there. Well, maybe the crude gears, because, well, you need four of those. So you could potentially carry three crude gears, which would be rather amazing. But yeah, Nina's job is probably the the most uh, the, the prime job for looking into that particular uh, situation. So we're just going to set up the backpacks right now, the the good old normal way, and then I'm going to revisit Nina's brain and see if we can't improve things there. Stow that, and we're going to need three planks. And of course, we're going to do this in a bit of a better way than that. We're going to have this in here for three times. There we go, three exactly, and then. We want you to come down here and drop all of these off. So, one, two, three. But of course, we don't want that. We can make that much, much uh, smarter inside uh, Sozetsu's brain until hands empty. 
then switch over to the pole that you should be carrying drop that in there as well and there we go we've now got a backpack i would like you to do that until this is full and then outside of that i would like you to do it until forever basically until the stars grow cold and your power pa uh, bank runs out no you're not powered on solar energy i mean you know you, you could probably just keep going until until very close to the heat death of the universe it would be marvelous uh, ah good old clockwork right so with that done crack on i guess yeah there we are okay so nina i'm gonna need to make you a memory upgrade just so that we can test this because nina is already very very close but in fact has completely exceeded her, her uh, memory size right now. Uh, let's go grab two seeds and we should be good. Hopefully, and Speaker Blair is, uh, sorry, Henrik is not smashing any uh, trees right now. There we go. Let's grab these. So, Zetsu, you need to be in the Newman group. There we go. And, right, Nina, I've got a very, very important task for you. Head over here, please. You're going to get a pretty awesome upgrade. Look at the size of your noggin now. My lord, Nina. You look a little bit... A uh, little, little bit uh, too gigantic there, I've got to be honest. Ah, my camera. Where are we? There we go. I can't... Can't say that you don't look like you would just topple over. There's a lot... A lot of weight in that head of yours. And I feel that there is not enough support in your wheels anymore. Hmm. I might, I might need to uh, go back to design school, honestly, because we're not making the most stable looking of bots. But Nina, we want to have a look inside your brain. So, well, I didn't mean to do that, but uh, it works, I guess. Currently, you grab from the plank storage, you stow it, you move to, uh, to um, let me grab something quickly so I can stow it and then retrieve it and then drop it. There we go. I uh, don't need any of these. There we are. I would like you, once you grab a pole, to stow that. Then, go over to the log storage. Grab that. Bring that back. Then I need you to retrieve an item. Stow that. Oh, damn it. I'm, I'm going to need to go and grab a plank and a pole. Aren't I? Yes, I am. Uh, let me go and grab uh, a plank. Can I grab a plank? There we go. Right, let's uh, get all of these out of your mind. You don't need them there. Let's go and plonk that down. We should already be at the bot storage, so add a basic bot workbench. I wish there was a way to copy. Truly, I do. Of all the things I, I wish that we could do there. Can I not access this right now? I guess not. Okay, well, that's fine. I'll go grab another pole then. Ugh, my lord. What I would have liked to have been able to do there is simply to uh, direct um, the bot workbench to uh, release the the plank that I put in there, but it's fine. Right. We don't need to stow it. I would like you to retrieve the pole and then add the pole. There we go. And that should, in theory, work. Okay. Nina, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move this out of the way so that you can crack on with your work. Then, I'm going to eject these items. There we go. I'll go and stow them again, just so I'm nice and tidy. There we go. Right, Nina, hopefully you're carrying all the things that I wanted to carry. Let's uh, head over to Nina and find out. Well, actually, we can just observe. Uh-oh. That's tough, tough. Never mind, never mind. Nina is on the way down there. Ah, I was following the wrong bot. Could I look in Nina's transfer? Yes, Nina is carrying two items. This is marvelous. So yes, Nina can do all of that with one trip back to the uh, to the workbench. That is a really, really amazing thing. That means any of the, the, the Mark II bots with a backpack can carry two items. This is grand. Uh, that one's already taken care of. All of these are pretty much taken care of as they need to be, so uh, that's that's fine. But uh, that is huge for us because it means we can carry two single um, space items and a log at the same time. That, that is a pretty, pretty big uh, improvement for us. Well, let's grab all the body parts, get a new bot together, and then we can get the flail finally set up after all of this time. 
There we go. Uh, are you going to need... No, you're not going to need any upgrades whatsoever, so that's fine. Let's find out who you are. Arise, Zarkino. Knight of the Automated Empire. I mean, it's a, it's a, no, it's a silly title. It's, it's, it's a human word, really. We're just throwing it around for fun. Uh, right, okay. I would like you very much to grab two sticks uh, from stick storage. Uh, of course, only when the... Uh, crate over here is not full so until it is full you may happily go ahead and grab some sticks I need you to grab two so let's wrap this one up in a times two I mean technically I could have you just carry four of them and make two and then grab two Ooh, we could do that technically because this fits very neatly into that but then there may be a time when you just wait. Uh, I mean, it would technically be be more more useful. But uh, we're not going to do that. Uh, we could easily fit that into the, into this uh, memory. Uh, but we're not, we're going to resist this this once. Uh, let's get rid of these. And with that, come along and drop these off. But we we could have um, Zarakino make two flails at once. There we are. And we just want this. Oh up there and then we want this wrapped in a until hands empty close get rid of these once that's done go ahead and pick up the crude flail and store it in the crude flail chest there we go and that is your job forever enjoy your forever job marvelous all right remove the open to two smiths there you go perfect now that we've done that we can actually go to our farmers and adjust that a little bit we want... Oh, where are you? Rui and Azai. I would like you very much to use the flails from now on. So I'm going to pause this there. When hands are empty, I would like you to find... Uh, right. Let's grab these, move them out of the way. I would like you to go and grab a flail. There we go. That's all, all I need you to do. I don't actually even need you to, to grab one right now. Just do it once you, you're finished with the stick that you've got there. I should probably set up a sign to adjust this area to control where they're currently farming. Yeah. Let's let's not be lazy. Let's not be lazy and just go and do that now. We are, we are a member of the Automated Empire. Some might say we're in charge of it. They, they would be fools, of course. We are obviously subservient to the robot overlords, but we have been given significant autonomy in ensuring the uh, most efficient operation of the Automated Empire. It's, it's a position of significant prestige and privilege. And like, and like the humans on, on, on the Forge world who just have to toil in the mines and the manufactorums all day. Uh, berry farm. There we go. And I would... Well, this one doesn't need to be unlinked because it really is only ever going to be in uh, this one location. There we go. That will do. Perfect. Let's set that one up. Yoink. Right, back to as I. I would very much like you to look in the berry farm area. Uh, oh, have I not popped that down yet? Oh, right, I haven't popped it down. <laughs> My bad. My bad. Sorry about that. There we go. Now we can select it. There we are. Perfect. And you can just crack on. Uh, 87 ferrets. I don't need you to do it because you're digging up mushrooms. Really, I, I should probably s separate them. Yes, we, we're going to need separate groups now. Where is the new... I did say for a new team, did I not? Let's have a quick look through. Team 14, there we go. You almost... Uh, can I not reorganize you? Oh, that's so frustrating. Okay. Berry farming. We'll make it a nice purple color. There we go. Perfect. Right, donk. I want as I you're moving down into or rather moving up into the berry farming area and Rui you are also moving into the berry farming area there you go it's gonna be perfect right as I you're sorted that's amazing you can carry on doing what you're doing 
Rui, I need you, however, to stop what you're doing. What are you doing? Oh, you're, dis you're di completely discharged. My bad. There we go. First, need a quick pause to your brain. You need to remove these. And instead, from now on, I would like you very much to grab some flails instead. Oh, one flail. One flail will do. You don't need to grab multiple flails. Let's not be excessive now. There you go. And uh, enjoy. There we are. Perfect. Now, if I wanted to, I could move our hauler for the berry farm up in there. I think that might be a, a good idea. Let's find our hauler team. Uh, Nami Khan, or Nami, thank you very much for the permission to use a nickname, because I will trip over that name constantly. Uh, there we go. Let's get you set up properly. I want you to find berries in this area. Nice and simple. There we go. Move the berry storage. Continue. And I would like you moved up into the Berry Farmers group. There we are. That is super, super simple. Super simple. I am very happy with that. Now, I guess we could do something for the Mushroom Farmers as well. But uh, we will get to that in a little bit. Right now, they're doing a, a fine job. That being said, this is now purely a Mushroom Farmers team. So I could just change this to Mushroom. Come on, I had to. There we go, we'll make it red. Uh, there we are. Uh, we could then find the hauler for that. Big Al, you can now be down here. We will set you up with a sign sometime soon. But for now, no. Ah, there we go. We've got our final house. Let's move you across. Oh, oh, oh I've got a flare. My bad. Let me drop off the flail. It's fine. We're getting there. We are almost done with the Secrets of Fire. Prometheus, eat your heart out. Or don't, you know, because uh, you're already having your liver eaten out, so uh, that would be a little bit too far. It's fine, it's fine. The, the heart can stay. All right, let's get all of this taken care of. Right, there we go. Right, we are very far away from basic walls, though. That is, uh, that is a bit of a problem. We definitely need to improve this situation a little bit. Currently, we are only supplying mushrooms to the... Uh, colonist incubator. I think that perhaps getting things set up for for uh, feeding mushrooms to the the children because we, we've got so much available. Are any of the children currently needing food? I think quite a few of them are, aren't they? Yes, yes, they are. They really are. Okay, well we'll get a new bot together then. It will be super, super simple to do. And we'll also give them a backpack. Uh, we're going to set up a mass hauling bot for this one. And for that, we're going to need one other thing. We want a uh, better grabber as well. So you can really carry a lot of stuff. So we're going to need two crude gears and a pole. Let me go and grab those. Yoink. Uh, store that and then grab two crude gears. And two. Oh no, these are wheels. My bad. Right. Ah, dread. Okay, fine. Let's grab this and this. There we go. And we will get you a power upgrade. Here we are. It's going to be marvelous. All right, let's see. Is this going to give you great big chunky claws? Uh, no, it's just going to make your shoulders buff. Well, fair enough. And then a backpack. Here you are. You are going to be designed to carry the most stuff possible. Now, whether we can fit all of this in, in a single uh, unupgraded brain remains to be seen. Welcome to the automated empire, Kiwi. Right, let's have a look then. We want this done forever. And the first thing we need to do is go and grab as many mushrooms as you can possibly carry. I would like this within a hands full command. Now, we don't need you to move it under hands full, but I am going to allow this to break. Now, the thing is, in hands full, I would like you to be allowed to. St Ooh, this is a tricky one because I, I kind of want to let you stow items in your backpack, but I want there to be a fail clause. Um, until. Until backpack full. There we go. I like it. Okay. I'm going to give you a fail clause there and a fail clause here. I want you to stow this mushroom. So, you should be able to just... The moment you pick up a mushroom, you're going to try and stow it. And the next time you pick up a mushroom, 
Uh, you won't be able to stow another one, even though you've got two spaces, because you won't be holding anything. Um, then you will try and pick up another one, and you'll try and stow it in the backpack, and you'll keep going uh, that way. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to stow everything within just these four commands. And so you'll end up with seven mushrooms, if I'm not mistaken. And once you've done that, I'm going to grab another mushroom, just so I've got one. I would like you to go and feed any hungry colonists. There we go. And grab all of these. All of this up there. I would like this to be the, the village area. There we go. Now, once you have run out of any... Uh, we'll make this one until hands empty. There we go. And uh, pop that one up in here. But once again, until backpack empty. With a break, I would like you to retrieve. So this should keep your hands from ever being empty until you have nothing in your backpack as well. Uh, if there are colonists that have been fed, I would like to see if we can tell you to feed those colonists. Can I tell you to feed those colonists? Uh, no, this this still marked as hungry colonists. Uh, it's it's hard to tell. Uh, I was told that there is a a difference in the way that they uh, are are seen in the state engine, and perhaps this would matter. But for now, we'll just leave it as is and see if this will work for us. So until hands full, until hands empty, move around as needed. And I guess with the the room that we have left, if there is nothing else to do. I, I guess there's no no easy way of us, us finding a, 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 a no hungry colonist. I, I, I suppose what we could do is within here we could have once you have um, filled your hands, you could move over here and stand just outside. I wonder. Uh, let's see. If I use this, I'm going to pick it up, aren't I? Yes, I am. I could do. Uh, I guess I could just have you stand outside. Tricky one, though. I don't know if there's really going to be any... Uh, I don't know how that would affect bots if multiple bots tried to all kind of cluster on the same time. I guess it wouldn't necessarily be a problem since they do uh, all occupy the same time all the time. So sure, we'll pop this one in there. That way, if you've filled up your hands with food but there's no one hungry, you'll idle here. And then you'll go and, and fill your hands and so on and so forth. That might actually be a, a cool little uh, little setting. Let's have a watch and see how this one works. We're going to follow you, Kiwi. This one's going to be important. I also want to see what's in your, your inventory. Uh, you are trying to stow an item. Okay. That's what I was a little bit worried about. The problem here is that Kiwi can't stow any items because Kiwi has nothing in their hand. But it doesn't seem to fail in the same way that other things do. Uh, okay, thank you very much for the crude torch. We're gonna pause Kiwi's logic there. Now, if Kiwi was had something in their hand but was unable to put it in their backpack, that would fail, that would hit the fail clause. However, with this particular logic, because Kiwi hasn't got anything in their hand, you're not, not technically failing at putting nothing in your backpack. If you haven't put anything in your backpack, you've actually succeeded at putting nothing in your backpack. It's a bit of a weird one. Um, okay, I, and I can only assume that that is not quite working the way it was intended. Uh, all right, let's have a let's have a think of how we can do this. I guess you could just try and store it. Um, just try and do it once, um, but with a break clause. So if you try to put nothing in there, it'll fail, and so on and so forth. And until backpack's empty retrieve we'll we'll see how this works let's go ahead and work with that one okay you're heading down you've tried to stow it tried to stow it try you're, you're now just filling up your inventory you've now got a full inventory and you're moving on okay stood there find the nearest car list one to you you're happy you're gonna move on to the next one you can't retrieve or you already have uh, you 
you haven't retrieved, actually. Interesting. Very interesting that you're not able to retrieve there. Okay, well, uh, let's uh, adjust this one. Uh, try that one time with the brake cores. And see if that works. That was, uh, that was a bit of a, a strange one, because I would have assumed you would have been able to retrieve into your hands, given that you've got enough space in there. That's fine, you're moving on. Let's move up there. I, I want to keep an eye... I, I know it's kind of... Uh, blurred out there. But I want to keep an eye on what's happening. Oh, no, come on. Right, you've dropped that, but you're not... Oh, you've moved on. I guess you can't retrieve until your, back, your hands are completely empty. I can only assume. Moving on to the next. Now, let's see... Oh, there we are. You did retrieve. There you go. And you... Oh, perfect. It's working now. Well, there we are. Okay. That was actually fantastically well done. You just fed everyone. Wow. Well done, you. This should greatly improve our production of wealth. Now, all we're going to need is to do exactly the same thing for all of our level one bots. And I, I imagine only two Mark II uh, bots like this would be able to take care of all of that. Well, I'm very, very happy with that. But that's going to be something we're going to have to update in the next episode, I fancy. In today's episode, we have automated the production of the newest line of bots and also backpack. We still have yet to update quite a lot of things. I think getting the uh, the speed upgrade and the power upgrade are going to be big ones because most of our bots could do with those, even if they don't need a brain upgrade, that would actually be very useful for them. We have additionally increased the amount of of what being produced. Uh, why are we not researching right now, though? Interestingly, I'm noticing something uh, awry with our research team. Have you been stopped for some reason? No, you appear to... Oh, that one is fine, but where is our second researcher? Uh, okay. Interesting. You seem to be completely, completely broken. Well, that would explain why that hasn't been going up now, wouldn't it? Well, drat, damn, and blast. Okay, okay, the final thing that we're going to fix then is uh, we definitely need you to uh, get a slight upgrade. Take uh, Until Hands Fall, take Colonist Wub Storage 1, that's fine. Move to Research Impactor, Until Hands Empty, add to the Impactor. Right, okay, so why was that a problem for you? Let's get you going. Can you not take from... from? Oh, of course. Somewhere along the line, your brain got very, very much broken. All right, let me uh, just move to Colonist Web Storage. Ah, yes, you were trying to move to a, a specific location before. Don't know why that was the case, but sure. Okay, crack on. All right, so uh, research is commencing once again. Hey, thank goodness I noticed before the end of the episode. That means everyone who's already commented. <laughs> you're going to have to go back and edit your comments. This this actually was 100% a lesson. I intentionally did this knowing that some of you would hit send. You'd be too impatient to wait until the end of the episode just to make sure that your your comment was still valid. <laughs> and I'm going to know because I'll be able to see on all those comments that have got a little edited in brackets. Yeah, that, take that. But that's going to be it from me for now. In the next episode, we will finish automating all of the robot parts. These two are the primary, so they're the ones that we're going to jump on first. And we're probably also going to upgrade our feeders so that we are doing the feeding that a little bit faster because this is such a good setup right now. This is so much better than we've got previously. Though uh, you seem to be having some problems. Gra oh, I see what's happening. There's nothing to grab, so uh, you're defaulting back and forth. Maybe I should tell you to wait until your hands are full. Eh, that's a bit dangerous, though. We're, or maybe I should just take up the idling um, routine. It's, it's kind of surplus to the man, really. But that's going to be it from me. I really do hope you've all enjoyed and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, you take care, everyone.